Oh, okay. So this cute little book is called Catholic Funny Fill-Ins. It's written by Karen and Tommy Ty, and it's filled in by their kids, and the sisters are going to read them. So prepare to be entertained. Wait, are you going to tell me another story, Sister I am, Marlene? and this one is super appropriate for right now. Okay, I can't wait. Okay, this is Picking Something for Lent. Ooh, yeah. you're right. So if you right. haven't picked something, now's the time. Okay, maybe this will help me. So this is a dialogue between a mom and a kid. Uh-huh. So mom says, it's four weeks until Lent starts. What are you going to give up? They start way in advance. They way in You know, you got to oh. think these things through. Okay, they're more prepared than I was. Kid says, I'm giving up bananas. Oh, yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Okay, not a banana person myself. Okay, but... mom says, you don't even like them, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kid, exactly. It's going to be a piece of cheese. <laughs> mom said, but that's not the refrigerator. That's not the refrigerator. No, it's not. No, it's not. I was trying to figure out the spelling, but I think it is spelled correctly. Your sister is giving up desserts. Ooh, that's good. That's, tough. that's That's a hard one. That's tough. That's harder than bananas, at least for me. Yeah? Yeah. The kid says, Zowie! She's giving those up? I see Zowie all the time. That and snickerdoodles. Zowie! <laughs> Zowie G, Sister Marlene. <laughs> giving up dessert is tough. She's pretty much jumping with them three hours a day. There's a lot of jumping that happens in these. I feel like if you jump three hours a day, you need the calories from dessert, though. But if you eat that many desserts, you need to jump three hours a day. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay. yep, that's true. All right, I'm, I'm following it. Okay, so mom, exactly. She likes it, so she's zooming it up. Yeah. What about you? Maybe rosaries? Do you think mom means she, he should give up rosaries? I think you gotta say a rosary. So it's do making, or maybe making rosaries, like corn making rosaries? rosaries? Yeah. Yeah. But in all the time when he's not eating bananas, he can say a rosary. Why can't you eat a banana and pray the rosary? You could. Okay. You could. Kid, um, how about cups? That's a non sequitur, <laughs> definitely. Mom, now you're playing? <laughs> I gave up, I gave those up for Lent five years ago. <laughs> and it was like, water oh no, please. it gets better. And it was uh -huh. really itchy for me. <laughs> I don't know how cups make you itchy. If you give them up. If you give them up, like what do you do? Cups? If you give up cups, how do you drink? Why would that make you itchy? I don't know. Okay. I don't understand. Kid, was it hard? Mom, in a way it, it was. It was a piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Mom it wasn't said, a refrigerator. Well, that's true. Yeah. Mom, in a way it was, but by Easter, I didn't even miss running with them. <laughs> <laughs> so she was running with the cups. I like before. run. Well, like some people Maybe run and they, they have, have a the... water bottle. Maybe she <laughs> ran with a cup. And, and was it like, she when she didn't do it? That I, well, you know what? Maybe she didn't stay out. You give up cups. Like, how much can water can you? True, drink and you this? can't run while holding water in your hand. No, she she was. Don't get dehydrated during Lent. <laughs> that is not a healthy choice. Drink water. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Maybe I'll give up potatoes instead. Said the kid. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I love potatoes. She loves potatoes. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. more of a rice person, but she's uh -huh. a potato yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. Mom says, you silly face. <laughs> <laughs> the end. You silly face. <laughs> Bravo. Well done, Thai children.